Hey all your movies out there, thanks for clacking into the Break From Arcade. My name is Brandon Miracle, and today we're doing our very first unboxing video. So I've been waiting on this particular item for a long time, and I'm gonna open it for you guys, so here we go. Oh, that's heavy. Should I do this like Lamar Wilson style? Do a little bit of this. Open it this way so you guys can see it a little bit. Try not to pierce anything. Perfect. Close the knife. For safety. So we can be safe. Here's the box. Oh boy. Do you guys know what's inside? Ooh. No, it's not. It's not a Nintendo Switch. But that's coming. This is the Legend of Zelda Arts and Artifacts book. Look at this thing. Look how shiny it is. Okay, so, I'm gonna try and rip off the plastic without damaging the book at all. <laughs> Tear this bad boy open. So this is published by Dark Horse Books, they're the same people who published the um, Hyrule Historia in North America. And I don't think you guys realize just how large this book is. In fact, I'm gonna go get the other one for comparison's sake. Look at this! One sec. Okay, so, this is the Hyrule Historia. There's the side binding of that. So this is the Hyrule Historia. And this oh, is the Art and Artifacts book. So here they are together. And then there they are, side by side. Look at that. It more than doubles the size of the original Hyrule Historia. So enough looking at the beautiful outside red copy. Now, I didn't get the special edition, but I honestly, I like this just as much. So um, let's take a look. Whew. So, the very beginning is a landscape from uh, Ocarina of Time's 3D artwork for the 3D remake, and a very, very high-resolution picture of the Hylian Shield and Master Sword. I'm sorry, like, I don't have a greater camera angle for this. I'm by myself, um, but... We'll get you a look in here. So here's a picture, a quick picture of the table of contents. So they've got all the Legend of Zelda games that have released up until now going to Triforce Heroes. Um, there is some Breath of the Wild stuff here later in the book. Um, there's character illustrations, a masterpiece gallery, and then it's another section called the Temple of Time, which I guess covers the first 30 years. So this book has tons of illustrations from all the Legend of Zelda games from 30 years ago up until now, as well as some neat factoids about some of the development and then some of the experiences the developers had in those processes. Like, I think recently, um, in this book, you can find that Link from Ocarina of Time is actually based on a Hollywood actor, though the actor's name is not named in the book. So right away you can see some really nice artwork from the original Legend of Zelda, some more artwork. And let's skip ahead. Ooh, here's some artwork from Link's Awakening. Very colorful, very anime-ish. Um, I love it a lot. Ooh, and here's an original sketch from Majora's Mask, as well as one of the original artwork pieces from the N64 release of Majora's Mask. Lots of cool stuff there. Um, I just love, like, the sketch look here for Majora's Mask. It's very fitting for that game. Dark and brooding. Here's a piece of art I've never even seen. So this must be, like, a concept art of... Clocktown before Clocktown was originally designed. Um, man, I just love like the dark tones and shading. It just translates to that world really well. And then here for contrast, um, here's a preliminary sketch of Legend of Zelda uh, Majora's Mask 3D, then a secondary prelim preliminary sketch, and then the, the final artwork that ended up being the art for the game box. Here's some preliminary artwork for The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, as well as the final box arts, as we all know. Just look how dark this image of Link here is. I just, I love it. You can definitely see, like, the influences that Majora's Mask may have had on that title. Um, which go pretty deep if you don't, if you, um, aren't familiar with that game very much. A very, very typical Skyward Sword artwork picture that we're all probably familiar with. Then here's some artwork for A Link Between Worlds, one of my very favorite Legend of Zelda games. Um, I'm so glad that this game happened, and I really hope that they do more of the top-down Legend of Zelda games, because 
I still love them. If you go further into the book, you'll find some artwork of some enemy designs. Um, here's some original enemy designs from the original Legend of Zelda, as well as some designs of Link and some of the other characters in that game, I, and Impa for that, for that matter. Then we got some enemy designs from The Legend of Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Some really cool, classic-looking designs here. I just love how the series artwork has evolved since the beginning. It used to be a lot darker um, and a lot spookier. They kind of remind me of classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle um, book covers. Ooh, here, here are two different design sketches from A Link to the Past of Link. Um, the one on the left is obviously original, and the one on the right is much sharper and cleaner. I don't know where that comes from. Oh, okay, here on the bottom it says that's from the re-release on the Game Boy Advance that came with Four Swords. Speaking of Four Swords, here are some designs of Link. Um, very clear, very colorful artwork. I've always loved that game. Um, and Four Swords Adventures. I know it's not very popular amongst the community and fans. Um, there, here we go, Four Swords Adventures right here. I, you know, I'm opening to these without even looking, so that was pretty cool. Um, this is one of my favorite games of all time, and you know what's funny about that is I actually ended up playing through that whole game by myself, and I still like it a lot. Um, if that game ever gets a re-release on Nintendo Switch, I would totally buy it again just to be able to play it with more people. Here's some 3D models from The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Um, they're really just the regular old models, nothing we haven't seen before. We got some Phantom Hourglass artwork, an underrated game in my opinion. Here we got some Spirit Tracks as well as the Spirit Tracks multiplayer mode, um, which featured multicolored links just like Four Swords. And here we have some icons and stamps from The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks as well as like all the train parts down there, that's super cool. Here's some artwork of Ravio from A Link Between Worlds and it shows um, him using some of the items that he would sell. And then here's an image of Yuga. Trying not to get the glare on there. There's Yuga in all of his stunning glory. And then another underrated game, in my opinion, is the Triforce Heroes. Um, really, if you didn't get a chance to play this game with friends, just like Four Swords Adventures, for that matter, um, it really is a fun time. It's, um, it's really fun. It shows you how well you communicate with your friends. We actually elected a few times to play it without voice chat. Um, and just use the icons on the screen. It was a lot of fun. So recently there was some artwork, um, I think within the last year or two of Link, um, they updated it, and here they put it here in this book. Um, so obviously it's kind of based off the Twilight Princess, a little bit of uh, The Legend of Super Smash Brothers for 3DS and Wii U. Um, and that's actually where that image of the Hylian Shield and Master Sword came from. Some rupees, the Hylian Crest, which they actually call the Wing Crest. I've never heard it as that name before. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. So, I got to a certain page in the book, and there was this in it! Oh. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild climbing artwork. Let's see what's on the other side. There's Link in all of the various artworks we've been seeing recently. Rider Link, Bokoblin, and Guardian. I don't think you guys realize just how heavy this book is. It actually, like, strains my hands in order to pick him up. And then here in the back we have some um, interview segments with some of the designers for the Legend of Zelda series over the last 30 years. I definitely really look forward to reading that as well as going back through the book and uh, checking everything out. There is so much in here. Wow. This interview segment goes on for pages upon pages. Holy cow. There is a lot in here. So that is a quick look at the Legend of Zelda Arts and Artifacts book. Um, as far as I know, there's going to be one more book kind of in this trilogy of Legend of Zelda, like, history and art books. Um, I don't know what that's going to cover. This might actually be the first in a new trilogy. I'm not for sure, but I know there's more books like this coming. Um, any Legend of Zelda fan, this is a great addition to your collection. This is a very hefty book, clocking at over 400 pages of very high-res beautiful artwork, as well as some uh, fun interviews with some neat factoids about The Legend of Zelda in there. Um, here's a look at the back. I don't know if I've shown that off yet. So, I really hope you guys have gotten a good look at this. You should pick it up. I got it on Amazon for only 20 bucks, and for that much, for this nice quality hardcover book for 20 bucks, it's such a good deal, so definitely go for it. Um, well, that's all I got for right now. Check us out at the end of the week when the Switch launches, because we'll be doing all kinds of live stream stuff. 
um, video coverage of the rest of the games. Speaking of The Legend of Zelda, I'll be playing Breath of the Wild on Friday morning um, after the midnight launch, so I'll be streaming up until my work shift starts, so please join me for that, it's gonna be a lot of fun. That's all I got for you, thank you so much for joining me, if you liked it, please leave me a like, if you haven't yet, please subscribe, I got two more videos just like this one right down below. Thank you guys for watching, don't break your backs, break in the games, but for now, break time's over. Thank <laughs> you.